Welcome to Morningstar. I'm Holly Black. With me is Tonkrev Fulop. He's an equity analyst at Morningstar. Hello. Hello, Holly. So, Tom Craig, you've been looking in depth at the offshore wind farm sector. Can you tell us a bit about this market and how it's been growing? Yes. Um, so, it's uh, the, the market has been through a, a quite high growth uh, over the last uh, decade, but uh, we show in this report that it's just uh, the beginning, and we expect offshore wind uh, global offshore wind capacity to surge uh, eightfold uh, through 2030 to uh, more than uh, 220 uh, gigawatts. And this is because uh, offshore wind has key advantages over other source, other renewables like solar PV or onshore wind. And these advantages are like uh, higher uh, load factor, which is a utilization rate, and a lo- lower uh, variability. And costs are, are declining. But of course, it's not just about growth. When you're analysing stocks, you want to see an economic moat that is competitive advantages, barriers to entry for the competition. Is this a moaty industry? Uh, no, we we show in our report that it's, uh, we don't think uh, it's a moaty industry. And a key to that uh, is that there is effective, uh, effectively no barriers to entry. The only barrier to entry is capital, but uh, the world is full of capital. Uh, and this is evidenced by the very recent entry uh, presence of uh, integri- integrated oils into the space and also the presence of uh, financial uh, financial investors. And there is, and competition is, is, uh, is increasing. So it's not much, but still we expect the, the offshore wind farms uh, to be uh, value accretive and uh, we expect uh, an average internal rate of uh, return of around 6.5%. Uh, so just because the, the stocks don't have an economic moat, it doesn't mean you don't like them. What are some of your top picks in the sector? Uh, my top pick, which is also the, um, my best idea among European utilities, is RWE. Um, I have a fair value estimate of 41 euros. Uh, so you have around 20% of upside, and uh, this is the second uh, uh, global uh, offshore wind, uh, largest uh, offshore wind uh, player behind Orsted. Um, the, the, the capacity will surge. The returns uh, of, uh, of the projects uh, in the pipeline are quite high, uh, around 7%. And uh, in 2024, um, 45% of the EBTA uh, will come from uh, offshore wind and around three quarters of the EBTA from renewables. And uh, we think this is the uh, this is still uh, neglected by, uh, by the market. So one of the well, the biggest name in this sector that, and probably the one most people would have heard of is Orsted, but that's not one of your most highly rated stocks. Uh, that might be a surprise to people. Why is that? Yeah, we think the market is too bullish on, uh, on Orsted. Uh, we expect the offshore wind market to remain uh, fragmented uh, and the market is uh, ascribing to, to Orsted uh, a winner take all premium and we we, can, we we show with the report that it is not justified. Uh, we also expect uh, Orsted to warn uh, on the returns of its project uh, at, the, at its next capital market day due in um, in, 2000, um, in the first half of 2021. Also Orsted has a high exposure to the US East Coast projects where there are a lot of uh, delays and, um, and, potential, and potential cost overruns uh, for um, for offshore wind projects. Fantastic. Tom Crew, thank you so much for your time. For Morningstar, I'm Holly Black.